The law, testimony, precepts, and commandments of God are God's rules for the regulation of human behavior. The law of God offers light for the faculties of human reasoning and imagination. The knowledge of God and His will is not only expressed in the written Word of God, but it is also revealed to universal man through the majesty of His creation. God through His Spirit also unveils knowledge of Himself to the inner consciousness of every man. But not every man accepts this knowledge from God. Not every man accepts the rules of behavior prescribed by God. People who thoroughly reject the knowledge of God unplug their conscious mind from the mind of their inner self. These are the ones who have extinguished the lights of their conscience. They have rejected the rules of behavior prescribed by God. They have rejected God's law. We call them narcissists. Many of them are malignant in nature. And those of us who grew up in households run by narcissistically malignant parents can tell you who established the rules of behavior in the house. And it most certainly was not a loving God. No, the malignant parent a man or a woman with absolutely no sense of accountability to the Word of God was the lawmaker and enforcer of the house. Expectations and rules executed by the malignant parent formed the customs and traditions of the family unit. Just as religious and societal traditions are the natural byproduct of rules that govern religious and social behavior, family traditions are the byproduct of the expectations and rules generated and enforced by the heads of each respective family. Family traditions birthed from the heart of parents who have rejected God's Word. Family traditions spawned from the very heart of Satan himself. This matters. The customs handed down in a family dominated by malignant parents are capable of polluting one's conscience. The order of behavior set forth in the narcissistically controlled family of origin has a corrosive influence on the soul. Narcissistic family tradition may cause afflictions of the physical body, autoimmune disorders in particular. I would now like to read a verse out of the Bible that addresses the traditions passed down from our fathers. And this verse is found in the book of 1 Peter, 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19. Recognize that you were redeemed from the useless, fruitless way of living inherited by tradition from your fathers. Not with corruptible things such as silver and gold, but you were purchased with the precious blood of the Messiah. A useless and fruitless way of living. This is what we inherited from the traditions 
of our malignant parents. The customs that predominate the narcissistically governed home created a useless way of life, a life void of good fruit. Please know this, the expectations, the rules of the malignant parent were, are, and will forever be void of divine legitimacy. Heaven has never nor will ever recognize anything that proceeds from the heart or mind of a reprobate. The blood of Jesus not only redeemed our lives from spiritual death and sin, the blood of Jesus redeemed us from a wasted life, a fruitless life, passed on from parents who rejected knowledge of the Creator. We have been redeemed from the traditions of our fathers. The Word and the Spirit are the luminaries of our life course, not dead traditions from a spiritually corrupt family system. The blood of Jesus has given us authority and power to walk away from the shame associated with the traditions of our natural families. Shame has been replaced with gratitude toward God for His saving grace gratitude for freedom from loyalty and obligation toward a family enveloped in the unholy practice of narcissistic abuse. We have been redeemed from the rules of our fathers. Thank you for watching.